Good morning, everyone. It is a great day uh, for us to worship the Lord and to give testimony of God's faithfulness in our lives. And so today we have baptisms. Uh, and baptisms really is kind of an, uh, well, it's an inward transformation that God does. And then it's an outward confession of just how good he is. And we have two people that we're getting baptized today. <clears throat> One is our brother Jason Moore, who's been with us uh, from, I think, September 2018. Let's give a huge round of applause to Jason. Uh, before he gives testimony, I just want to read a scripture in uh, Romans 6 that says this, Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we may too live a new life. And so as a commandment for us to be baptized today, Jason is going to take that step. We've asked him just to share a little bit about what God is doing in his life before we baptize him. Hi. So I was born in a, a Christian home, and when I was about four, I asked my mom to pray with me to become a Christian. And then in my early teen years, I did something incredibly stupid. I prayed to God that he wouldn't give me a boring life. And I can absolutely unequivocally state that he has answered that prayer. And I'm not saying God brought bad things into my life, but I know that in a lot of bad things that happened in my life, I never, ever felt the slightest waver in God's presence. And we live in a bad world, and there's no escaping that, but we certainly don't have to live in this bad world alone and I absolutely don't recommend trying to get through the bad things in this world on your own. Um, it's been so amazing, you know, even through a lot of challenges, I've had such incredible blessings. I have a, a large family, I have a number of siblings, I have a number of children, and I'm actually a grandpa. And, you know, the blessings so far outweigh any negativity that it's not even a comparison. And I know that it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God in so many different ways. And it's so amazing to have somebody there no matter what, no matter where you are, he's always there. And it doesn't mean everything's always going to be good, but it means that when things are not good, you're okay. So thank you. Yeah. So, Jason, I think you've already said it, but you have made Jesus Christ the forgiver of your sins and the Lord of your life? Absolutely. All right. Well, based on that confession, I, all right. thank you for the, the help. Based on that confession, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessings on you, Jason. Thank you. It's nice and warm in here. You should be jealous. Well, I'm here with Charmaine, and it's just a, an exciting day for you. So, Charmaine, why don't you tell us a little bit about your faith journey? Hi. born in a Christian home and you know when you grow up and you think I'm old enough my parents are old school and you know I can take on life on my own and you realize that it's it really is not and through it all you know it was one thing that my mom taught me was to pray When I went through what I would call the, you know, the darkest valleys, he was there for me and just the specific things that I prayed for. And I was like, you have to see me through this. And he was there. And it's, you know. 
and it went on to know, well, the fact that, you know, he's real and just, <laughs> I think today it's just me, you know, making that a public declaration of what he's done in me, what he's continuing to do in me, and I know that he's got me through, through it. And if I'm not dead, he's not done, so <laughs> I'm really excited to, you know, continue and I just thank God for his mercies and his loving kindness and his unfailing love. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Well, Charmaine, you've made Jesus the Lord of your life, and you want to follow him for the rest of your days? I have. Absolutely. So let's <laughs> baptize you. So today I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Awesome. Awesome. So good. Well, today, for all who are gathered, we are going to be baptizing Justin Hoffman, right? Yeah. Who's been to our church for almost a year, yeah, right? Yeah. When we first met you, it was yeah. about a year. And I know that you've desired to be baptized, and then Absolutely. COVID hit. Yeah. And so now we're up, or have an opportunity to baptize you. So, Thank God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I know that God's really doing a lot of great stuff in your life for what you've shared with yeah. us. Yeah. So why don't you just step up to the mic and just yeah, share yeah, your testimony sure. about... How you came to Christ? Yeah, definitely. Well, I've been a Christian most of my life. Uh, when I was a child, I was basically a miracle because my parents couldn't have children. Uh, that's what the doctor told them. So they had met at a Bible study in Natton, Alberta, and uh, they they were praying for a son. And I was I was a miracle from the start. And I've been a Christian most of my life. Uh, I had a time where I departed from the faith and. Um, I regretted it, and I always tell people that my worst day as a Christian is a lot better than my best day as an atheist was, because uh, giving my heart to Jesus was the best decision of my life, and I love the Lord with all my heart, and this is a decla declaration of my faith to Jesus Christ and for what he did for me, dying on the cross and shedding his blood and, and ultimately giving his life for my sins. Amen. Yeah. So, Justin, why are you getting baptized today? Uh, as a proclamation of my faith, and uh, when I, I look at the life of Jesus, I see that he was baptized in the River Jordan by John when he was 30 years old, and he began his ministry at that point, and I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm very obedient to God, and I, I've felt the Lord calling me to do this for a long time now, and I'm just, I'm doing it out of sheer obedience for the Lord, and uh, like I say, as a proclamation of my faith for Jesus Christ, Amen. who's my Lord and Savior. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So you've made Jesus the forgiver of your sins and the yes, Lord of your life? absolutely. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, Justin, based on, oh, we'll get you this way. Okay. Based on that confession of faith. Put your hands up this way. Yeah, perfect. I will now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you for everyone who was able to attend this baptism today. <laughs> God bless you all. Thank you so much.